So here at Square Table Gaming, we don't really consider ourselves game critics. We have strong opinions on the stuff we like, and some of us have very strong opinions on the stuff we don't. When Multiverses was announced, we were all pretty sure it was going to fall into the category of things we don't like. Let's face it, Smash clones can be fun, but at the end of the day, they're never going to compare to the original. Super Smash Bros. is lightning in a bottle, a mashup of all of our favorite characters from Nintendo's catalog and beyond that, while often replicated, is never surpassed. Here's the thing, though. Multiverses is actually great. Maybe I'm just enjoying the mashups of Finn and Jake versus Batman and Superman, but once you're behind the controller for this game, something just clicks. The team mechanics feel seamless, and the synergy of having two players that know how to complement each other's playstyles is just fun. It captures that same feeling Smash does as a game that anyone can pick up and play, but very few people can truly master. I know I'm definitely not in the camp of people who have mastered Smash, but I'm having a ton of fun with multiverses. The more you get ingrained into one character's playstyle, the deeper the mechanics seem to get. The double jumps and dodging keeps you in the action and offers plenty of options for mixing it up and confusing your opponent who's just trying to pull off that combo you keep finding a way out of. The characters here don't seem like they should fit together. Clearly WB is throwing around some money, making sure they have all their different franchises represented. And when I had a more cynical take on this game, the free-to-play model felt like it was going to be a cash grab to get people playing a lackluster fighting game. But I'm really happy to say I've been proven wrong. Each character feels unique, and the art style of the game makes all these different franchises blend really harmoniously into one game. It also doesn't hurt that unlike another recent Smash clone, Multiverses has an extensive list of voice lines for unique character interactions, as well as really fantastic remixed OSTs for each stage. I am blown away that they're releasing an incredibly competent fighter as free-to-play and banking on battle passes to make their money. Honestly though, when it's this much fun, I understand why you'd want to drop a few dollars on cosmetics, if for no other reason than to support the devs continually working on this game. Personally, I'm not a fan of the Battle Pass model, and I've only ever purchased a Battle Pass once for Destiny when they started rolling it out, but I'm gonna have to drop a few dollars on Multiverses after its official release. The team battle is the main focus of the game, but the 1v1s feel great, and the 4v4 free-for-alls are a lot of fun. The thing I'm most surprised about early on is the balancing. It really feels like I'm never at a significant disadvantage as long as I'm utilizing my character's abilities properly. No one really feels overpowered or game-breaking. Except when Velma dunks you off the stage, that's literally insane. Progressing through the ranks is slow if you're playing normally, but the XP boost you get for completing missions is so substantial, I don't think anyone who's trying would have any trouble completing their battle pass each season. The biggest gripe I have with multiverses is that there's no local multiplayer, so I can't actually play friends offline at home. Given that we're in the alpha, I'm sure the game's going to launch with this option. If not, it would be a huge miss, because this could be the next great couch co-op fighter. The game's in its alpha stage, and I can't wait to see the changes and improvements that come in the future. Once the alpha's over, I'll be waiting patiently for a beta, and then a wider release, because I can't wait to play this with the whole roster of characters at my disposal. If you can get into the beta, you absolutely should, because it will be worth it to get your hands on this fighter before its full release. Now I gotta go. My boy Finn and I have some work to do before the end of the week. See ya, everyone.